Hey everyone, in this part two of our two-part tutorial on the CC to Marvelous Designer workflow, we're going to look at how to import clothing created in Marvelous Designer into CC and convert them to CC clothing content. Let's start off by exporting our character from the previous video in order to make clothing for him based on his body shape. Here we can export the character only from the Blender pipeline menu. Now over in Marvelous Designer, let's import in that FBX and begin creating our character's outfit. I'll start with a rectangle and gradually modify it for the arms. Here I've selected an edge that needs to be extended so I can use the Offset Pattern Outline option to create a mesh with the same curve and bend. I'll select the edge and choose Cut and Sew to separate it into two pieces in order to give them a more natural sewn together look later. Then select both meshes and use the Symmetric Pattern option to mirror them to the right side. We can then use Copy and Mirror Paste to duplicate them once again for the back of the clothing. Next up is adding curvature to the neckline using the same method as the arms, once again using the Offset Pattern Outline option for the additional neckline mesh. From there, let's use the Segment Sewing tool to sew the edges of the meshes together. Be sure to leave a bit of distance between the meshes for best visual results. After you're finished creating the seam connections you want, simply press the Enter key to confirm and sew them together. Looks good so far, and now we can quickly add some color to our vest using the panel on the right. I'm going to go with a nice bright red here with a black border. Now, since I want the front part to be a bit more fitted to the body, I'm using the internal polygon slash line tool to add an elastic element to the waist. Once the edge is selected, I can go to the property editor panel, check the elastic option, and adjust the strength and ratio parameters to make the fit look a bit more natural. Next, let's use the track and track on avatar to pull the left and right sides towards the center to give us a bit more of a fitted look. You can hold the left mouse button to drag the clothes and see the way it drapes on your character model. If you want to add a little bit of flair to your outfit, you can click on graphic 2D pattern and import a PNG with a cool dragon pattern or whatever suits your scenario. In this case, I have a cool dragon that I'm going to copy and paste to the other side. I'll also throw this cool pattern on the back as well. Let's tackle the pants next. I'll hide the shirt for now and create another rectangle for the beginning of the pants. We then want to reshape that rectangle to the shape of the leg. The difference here is that we're making a leg strap which won't be sewn directly into the pants, but will rather be worn underneath. So let's sew the strap first and then proceed to the pants. Same process for the pants. We're creating the outline and then sewing the pieces together just like we did for the upper body. Next is the belt or waist strap. Again, we're going to start with a rectangle and duplicate it for the back. Once everything is done, it's time to optimize the mesh. During the creation process, we need a high poly count in order to properly simulate the fabric shrinkage. The next step is to create the UVs where I'm going to use 4K with a 10 pixel seam size, then pack and bake the textures.
Next, I'll select all of the meshes and switch to wireframe mode. Currently, the clothing consists of triangles, so let's change that to an optimized quad mesh. Now we're ready to export to CC, so let's go ahead and click on Upload under Everywhere to export our FBX. Since the downloaded mesh is a single FBX file, we first want to import it into Blender to split it up. Here we can hover the mouse over the mesh that needs to be selected, then press the L hotkey to select the entire element. Then use the P hotkey and select Selection to split up the selected mesh. After that, I'll simply rename everything accordingly. Once that's done, I can use the Export Accessory option in the Auto Setup panel to export each piece as a separate FBX. From there, I'll use the option from the Create menu in CC to convert each item to CC cloth format and apply them to our character. As of right now, they are all accessories, so we need to convert them to clothing. To do so, first click on Transfer Skin Weights. Generally, you can choose the default option here for most clothing, but you can test out the other templates for matching items like gloves, shoes, dresses, and cloaks as well. After that, you can use any of the test animations from the Timeline menu to ensure that the skin weighting results are accurate and there aren't any mesh breakages. It's always good to test out a few motions just to see how the clothing performs in different scenarios. If you encounter an issue with the skin weighting, you can always enter into skin weight mode in Character Creator to do some manual painting as well. Once I finish that, you can see that we have more accurate cloth performance and no mesh breakage. That's it for this video series guys. Hopefully it helps you with your marvelous designer slash blender slash character creator workflow, and I'll see you in the next one.